what's going on y'all welcome back to the channel today we're going to be talking about my go-to ultralight cook set um, for starters this is what i was using this was a tokes 550 um, it's a great pot especially for the price but i definitely feel like my new setup is a lot better than this there's definitely some things that i don't love about this pot so yeah but this is the current setup. So this is a ever new 500 milliliter pot. Some of the stuff that I really like about this pot, for starters, is it has like a little spout at the top. So if you're doing, you know, if you're, you've got boiling water, obviously, and you're pouring it into a mountain house meal, or if you're doing like a pour over with coffee, um, it's a lot easier to like pour your water more precisely when you have this, obviously, than if it was just round all the way. I mean, I know it's not a huge deal, but I mean, we're talking about a pot, so every little tiny detail matters. Um, something else, the lid actually nests on the top. The tokes will just fall right off, so you pretty much have to have a rubber band for the tokes, and for this, you're, you're good to go. Uh, the only thing that I didn't really like is this is kind of an expensive pot. It's like, I want to say 50 bucks, and there was nothing covering the handles. So I'm not going to lie, the first time I used this, I burned the crap out of myself because the flame had kind of, the wind was blowing, and the flame had ended up getting the handles hot. And I grabbed these handles, and it hurt. I burned myself pretty bad. So I ended up buying some fireproof silicone and putting it, taking the handles off of the pot and putting the silicone on. And so far, that's worked out really good. Now I can just grab the pot and I don't have to worry about burning myself. I don't have to worry about having a glove or something like that on. So that's been really helpful, but it does kind of stink that you spend that much money on a pot and it doesn't have... And then, or it, you spend that much money on a pot and you have to worry about burning yourself. Like, it, it should come with this already on there. And they do have other pots that do have the silicone on the handles. Um, but it was weird because they have the silicone on the lid, but not on the handles. I don't know. Anyway, so starting out, we of course have the mini bit, of course. And next we have just a fire starter. Just this is a uh, nano striker. Just in case, obviously, the mini bit doesn't work out. For the stove, this is of course the BRS titanium stove. This thing's awesome. I mean, it's cheap. It's light. Does it boil water crazy fast like a jet boil? No. But for the money, I mean, you can buy like three of these for, you could probably buy three for what a jet bowl cost. Um, and it's just really light and compact. Great stove for the money. Can't beat it. Next, we of course have our fuel. Just This is just a small butane canister. I mean, you probably think, oh, well, that's it. Well, actually, we still have my cup. This thing fits absolutely perfect in this pot. I mean, it. there is literally, like, no play. Like, you kind of have to bang it to get it out. And this is the Sea to Summit X cup. It's kind of small, not going to lie. I mean, it's only 8.3 ounces, holds 8.3 ounces, but it's really all that you need. I mean, honestly, these cups are great just because you, but you know, they're real compact. You just fold them up and you can put them down in the bottom of your pot and it's just perfect in my opinion. Love these things. But yeah. That is my go-to setup. Um, I've been really happy with it. It may not be may not be perfect. It may not work for everybody, but so far it's worked great for me. I haven't had any problems out of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you got any questions, 
drop a comment, let me know. Uh, I'll be sure to get back to you. But I will catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy, everybody.